Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. This is Isolde Trachtenberg with the Creative Mindset Podcast. I am at the David Rubenstein Atrium right now at Lincoln Center, and I just recently got a question that I kind of wanted to address here, and it's from someone who is starting her own podcast, and she wanted to know how I get my ideas. Where do you get your ideas? What do you talk about? And especially since I do it without any uh, preset script, right? So I'm talking to you because this is what I want to talk about. And how do you do it? How do you come up with topics? Well, there are a couple of different ways. First of all, to me, the best way is if you know what your audience wants to hear about, talk about that, right? So... The people who listen, if you're listening to this podcast, chances are you're interested in something to do with creativity and communication and a certain amount of vegan activism and animal rights. So if you're here because of any of those things, chances are you're going to be interested in at least some of the topics, hopefully most if not all of the topics that I talk about. But If you're someone who is just arriving to the show, then you have to talk about it a little differently or listen to it a little differently. You might want to go and discover what kinds of podcasts address what you're interested in. Because there are thousands and thousands of podcasts out there for just about anything you're interested in. So if you're interested, you're going to find something that is fascinating to you out there. All you have to do is search. But if you're a podcast creator or if you're a creator of content in any way and you're not sure what your audience wants, one of the best things to do is ask them. If you have any sort of a mailing list, send out an email and go, hey, I love you. I'd love to hear from you what it is you'd like to hear from me about. What is it that you want to know? What is it that I can teach you or talk about or show you that will uh, inspire you or help you in some way? So that's one of the best ways to figure it out. But if you don't have a mailing list and you're just starting out and you really want to get content out into the world, you can pay attention to what other podcasts are doing that you are doing or want to do and record your take on whatever those subjects are. So for me, for example, I'm I'm interested in entrepreneurship, but I'm always interested in it from a creative perspective. I don't want to just make money. I want it to be creative and I want it to be... Uh, environmentalist and always taking animal rights and people's rights into account as part of what I do. So you're never going to see me do a review of a hunting rifle, right? That would be the antithesis of what I stand for. On the other hand, you might very easily see me do a podcast episode about performing or about my experience volunteering at an animal rights shelter. So if you know me, you know what you're about to get. Having said that, again, if you are a creator and you're just new to it, there are three things that you can talk about. What you think, what you know, and what you feel about whatever topic you're talking about. So if I know how to play the violin and I want to talk to you about, and and I do know how to play the violin, but I want to talk to you about how to begin you know, how to hold the violin, you put it under your chin and you put your chin into the chin rest in a way that means that you can hold the violin up without worrying about it falling down or or drooping. And then you keep your shoulders down and you put the bow in the space between the nut and the bridge or the bridge and the fingerboard, I should say. And then you stroke the bow perpendicularly along the strings. And that's how you start to play the violin. So I know how to do that. And I would talk about it in a way that would be some substantive. What I think, well, let's talk about veganism, right? Or or, uh, not being cruel to animals. For me, that's one of the things that I look for in anything I shop for. And in fact, a friend of mine, a dear friend of mine, just got together for a picnic lunch. And she made vegan uh, barbecued texturized vegetable protein and I made a big salad and we just ate like queens and it was wonderful. So I could talk about that. I could talk about animal rights. I could talk about, um, again, what I think about the idea of being kind to the creatures we share the planet with. And what I feel, there are, there are lots of different ways. You can do a review. For example, I just saw a soldier's play and 
I could review what I feel about that that show, what what I think and what I feel actually. So your experiences count and matter and the best way to talk about it substantively is to go, okay, this is what I think about it, this is what I know about it, and this is what I feel about it. You can do one of the three or a combination of the three in order to get a well-rounded podcast episode. The other thing you can do is interview someone or have someone interview you, right? So there are lots and lots of different ways you can begin. But honestly, I would say if you have a topic that you'd like to talk about on a podcast, and this is the beginning of the year, so if you've been thinking about starting a podcast, this is a great time to start. If you have a topic you'd like to talk about, write down those three things. What do I think about this topic? What do I feel about it? And what do I know about it? And then start an episode. That is a really easy way to begin and get yourself going. And honestly, the more questions you ask of yourself about the topic you want to talk about, the more episodes are going to crop up that you can't help but talk about. Now, I'm just recording this episode into the phone. You don't need a lot of uh, equipment to be able to do it. If you have a smartphone, you can download you can even do it as with the voice memo option on your phone, but you can download software. You can get a free podcast up and going as long as you are getting it out there and you tell people about it so that you're not spitting into the wind, right? You don't want to be talking into, in, into the ether. You want to be actually talking to people, and that is the thing I want to leave you with. When you're creating a podcast episode, don't just blork stuff out. Instead, think about your audience. Think about who they are, who you want them to be, and what they might want to know about. If you don't have them yet, if you don't know who the people are who are listening to you yet, that's cool. Not a problem. What's important is that you begin to think about what those people will want to know about. And then you speak to that. What you feel, what you think, and what you know, speaking to the people who, if they're not already, who will one day be your super excited and super inspired fans. Okay, I'd love to hear from you, by the way. If you if you found this episode helpful, if you've been thinking about getting out there and creating content, well, let me know what you thought about these ideas. It would be really cool to hear from you. And also, if you like the podcast, please consider subscribing. And also, it would be great to uh, get a review from you from uh, uh, on iTunes or somewhere else, wherever it is you listen to the show, because the more I know from you, again, what it is that you want, what it is that you like to hear, the more I'll be able to give you what you want. Until next time, this is Isolde Trachtenberg with the Creative Mindset Podcast saying, let's get to it. <laughs>